congratulations. Brilliant display there. Must have delighted with that one. Yeah, yeah, buzzing just to get through the first round, to be honest. I knew, I knew I was in for a tough game. I've known Niels for a few years. and. I know, I know he's he's a much better player than what he was against me today, but just to go over the line, I was buzzing. I know I went fairly comfortably if you look at the set play. Um, but yeah, no, I was just glad to go over the line. So yeah, I thought there was only a matter of time before he does kick in and then starts, you know, m m my game maybe get worse and he start getting better. But um, yeah, I'm just buzzing to go over the line, to be honest. We've seen some amazing things on this day before, nine darts. I'm not sure we've seen a player drop a dart on that visit. They hit the nine. I mean, you were so close. What an effort. Yeah, yeah, no, I was gutted about it, to be honest. Like I said, uh, I said a few people before, in the PDC event, I've only ever gone 180, 180 and never hit the seventh start. So I thought on there, look, I know it's for the match, but we just, we just give it my best, you know what I mean? I'm not going to think nothing of it, not thinking of a nine data, not thinking about the win. Then I got treble 20, dropped my data, and I was like, oh no, here we go. So I thought the crowd would be on me back, then I picked it up, treble 19, I thought, this is going in, I felt really good in it. Bang, just on the wire, but well, actually, just on the wire, it was pretty sweet. But um, no, no, as like I said, just buzzing to go over the line. I wasn't too, thinking too much with a nine data or just winning the match, to be honest with you, but um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just buzzing. When it left your hand, you must have thought you were going in. It was such a well-thrown dart. You felt so good. It felt so good. I felt better than Treble 20 and the Treble 19 put together. But um, no, it is what it is. I start feeling it. So. Your combination finishes today. A real feature of your performance. 100 finished to win the second set. A double-double 92. Yeah, no, yeah, that's great. To be fair, that's one thing I've worked on the last couple of months, my finishing. My scoring's always been spot on, but my finishing's always let me down. So to go double-double on a finish, uh, to go treble 20 tops in two darts, it just shows where my game's come from in a short amount of time. So yeah, I'm just I'm just glad the practice has been off. And up next, a small matter of Michael Van Gerwen, the tournament favourite. He's had a tremendous 2022, but you can go into that one with no fear. No, definitely. I, 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 I don't fear anyone apart from... Apart from Bo Greaves, I suppose. But um, <laughs> no, no, I just tell you what, Michael Van Gerwen is a quality player. Everyone knows it. Everyone says he's on the downfall, but he's not. He's won four or five majors this year. But I'll go in with full confidence, 100%. And if he's not in his game, then I hope I'll capitalise on that. And then, you know, never mind. M maybe push him, push him and get the win. Thank you. Louis, congratulations. Last year, you did exactly the same. Played really well in the opening one, but car crash in your next one. What have you learned from that? And what are you going to try and put right this time around so that doesn't happen again? Not to get into the car crash. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, mean, I don't know, to be honest. I, I thought I had the experience from last year, from the first round. Maybe I went into the second round too confident. Um, but yeah, I, I, I let myself down the second round. I wasn't, wasn't feeling comfortable from the get-go. Um, but this, this, this year I know what to do. I, I know what to, I, know, I definitely know what to do now. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting up there again, playing Michael, and it'll be a good game. It's been a difficult second year for you as well. As a tour card holder, just scraped him through the back door, meaning you keep your tour card. Was that a relief to, to keep it? But what's the what's the, it come down to that you haven't quite hit the heights of the previous year? Um, it's just done myself to be honest. I think it's a bit bit of lack of practice. I've had a lot of stuff going on. Um, I've, 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 I've found it hard to get motivated. But that that is what I love doing. Like I said, the last couple of months I've really worked on my progress, worked on myself mentally and physically. And just, just starting wise, really, I've, I've reworked on myself and I'm really looking forward to what obviously the end of the World Championship shows and hopefully the start of next year. When you realised your tour card was in danger, was that like a light bulb moment thinking, hang on a minute, I need to do something here? No, not really. That's one thing I learned not to put too much pressure on myself. Um, I just thought, if I lose my tour card, I lose my tour card. That it is what it is. It's my own fault for not putting the effort in. But I thought, if I have a big push at the end of the year, get that one or two wins or something I get, and then I've kept my tour card. I know I've done myself proud. Because that's, that's the goal I set from two years ago when I got my tour card. I thought just secure it at the end of the two years, get in that top 64 and go from there. But I've, I've, I've achieved a lot more, I've played in the Worlds twice and I, I never really thought that happened to be honest with you. Have you felt the pressure a little bit? Because even before you got your card, you were being spoken about so much that Uber Lynch was the next cab off the rank that was going to come through and, and do major things. Have you felt that pressure and expectation? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. There, 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 there is a slight feel of pressure, I suppose, when everyone's talking about you that highly. Um, and like I say, I've dropped off. I've, it, that's just due, due to myself and what I've got going on, I suppose. But um, yeah, there is that pressure, but I'm just hoping to live up to expectations again now and just go from there. Luke, no problem, thank you very much. Yeah, you know you've got the next Wales now, but Rich, you've been at back at the World Championship. Yeah. Oh, it's great to see him back. I was, I was I was watching the qualifiers and I was cheering him on, and uh, I I loved I loved his walk on the Prince and Pride of Wales, which he is, and he, he's a massive he's a massive status, the highest status on myself, and I, I offered it I offered the nickname to him back a few times when he got his talk card and when he qualified for the Worlds. So I said, if you want it back, look, I said, I'll, I'll step down. And I said that's yours, but um, he said no, it's fine. The Prince of Pride of Wales, I think, I think that suits him to be fair. So it's the highest status, and he deserves it. Any other ideas for nicknames? Are you, are you going to stick with that? No, I think I'll stick with this, to be fair. If nobody else wants it, I'll stick with this. Um, you say Michael Van Gerwen next. Uh, could be wrong, but remember last year you had some, some good games when you first got the tour cards. I feel like possibly there. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've, I've got that experience of playing him. I know he was actually my first, my first day on Pro Tour I played him. So in the third round, I beat him 6 5. 
and I was so nervous playing him. I couldn't stop looking at the back of his shirt thinking, oh my, God, oh my gosh, I'm playing Michael Van Gerwen, you know what I mean? And I thought, right, sort it out. And then I beat him 6 5. The second time he beat me, I think 6 2 or something again. Like but it's 1 all now, so we see who goes 2 1 up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Lovely, thank you.